Um, you were talking to Jamie in the break about the differences between sort of young kids coming through now and yes. and back in your day. Yeah. Pre- apprenticeships are totally different. You know, from my understanding, back in the day, you'd have a toothbrush, you'd have to clean the floor, you'd have to sweep this yeah. and all that sort of nonsense. Initiations yeah. are different as well. Do you think that you're getting a different breed of footballer yes. now coming through compared to when you were... 100%. And is that good or bad? It's excellent. Oh, it's better now? Yeah. Okay, why? It's better what, for them. Conditions the are better. Big... Yeah. I mean, we've got <clears throat> our academies not ready to be open yet, but... You know, it's 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 two thirds, I would say, complete, and the facilities are incredible to what we had, and what the players had to, the pitches had to train on. So tell me what you had to go through then with your we, we apprenticeship. Play, we trained at Mitcham. Oh, our, my apprenticeship. Well, I, ne- I wasn't an apprentice at football. Don't forget, I was apprentice in the engineering factory. Right. Okay. If you were listening, at, no, I was. But, but my but, question, of course, book. I was. <laughs> what book's that? <laughs> But no, the reason I ask that is because all footballers, my understanding is, you know, when they're coming through the ranks, there's always that story, I was cleaning X, Y and Z's boots yeah, and so on. So for, did you have most, that? No, I didn't you have didn't that. You didn't have that at all? You no, completely leapfrogged that? Yeah. I kind of came in and people cleaning my boots and... Oh, wow, okay. That sort of thing. And you have various people. But but no, it, the, the, the school of hard knocks, the tough school, it was really tough back then. And we don't say it lightly. And before us, they would say it was even tougher. But you really got spoken to quite bluntly by everybody. Mm. You know, and that thing of like, you know, don't do that because, you know, it might affect him or it might be this or it might <clears throat> didn't exist. It was just we needed to win. We needed points. We need to keep a clean sheet. We need to get that ball, get rid of that ball, get it out of the pan. There's, you know, there was no pampering. But, it but was did, quite brutal. Did it, really it turn was. you into a man quicker then, do you think? You just had to, if, if you can't take it, then you slip by the wayside. I think the strongest survive and, you know, it's... It's just the way it was. I'm not saying it's right. It was just the way it was when we grew up. And um, and you kind of treat people how, the same as how you, you got treated. I think that's fair in football. I think that's, you know, you're tough on the youngsters and everything, but you change a little, you change your tone a little bit or you explain to them why you're upset and angry with them. I mean, Scott Parker, one time I was finishing off at, um, at Charlton and kind of gave him a bit of an earful and, and he came to me after training. He said, you know, when you shout at me, it puts me off, Mark, so... If you could speak to me rather than shout, then I said, oh, would you like me to say, oh, Scott, don't pass it there, just in case it gets cut out. And so, yeah. I said, I'll speak to you like I speak to everybody else, Scott. <laughs> Use a few expletives, though. Um, but but do you not think, Bryce, somewhere in between what you no, and but I those, those players now, though, when they see you, they they say they had careers because of it. You know, Solarco and Shaw, Gareth Southgate. You know, these are people you're still in touch with and... They know because everyone was tough on them. They got they got re- they got careers. Oh, no, listen, they, they came you, through it. Yeah, and you, and you, it was sink or swim. It, things Definitely. are things are different now, but it was brutal. Either you either you fight and you stand up for yourself, and you have to dig in, or you or you find the weaker ones can get taken away quite quickly. But I just wonder whether I think somewhere between what we had and what is now, I think somewhere in between yeah. is probably the trying to. See, I think now nowadays, I, I think that they're see they don't look. Best two years of my life was being an apprentice. I used to love doing Did duties, love cleaning the cleaning <coughs> the boots in the dressing room with your mates, cleaning the stands, Banter, sweeping. Yeah, the, it was yeah, honestly, yeah. and it ta- it taught me a lot. It taught me a lot about respect, taught me a lot about <clears throat> how I should treat my elders. It really did. I just wonder whether that but don't you think? Like, do you think the basketball players clean? You know, take hack, get the kit and 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 you know Michael Jordan when he was just left just joined the balls or something picked up all the, the slips at the tops mm-hmm. and then and threw them in bins and then swept the dressing room they didn't do that you know they they ended up being great players I, I, I didn't see that cleaning rooms sweeping and all that sort of thing was that vital painting the stadium in the summer like they used to I loved it, it was just... I, I, Fo- sorry footballers were painting the stadium yes. yeah, yeah in, in the, the summer I used to paint the, the stands amazing, and, it? yeah, yeah and, pff, just or go and do the gaffer's garden or something clean, okay, <laughs> maybe not to that level but I think that they're cleaning the boots it t- I took pride in my players boots yeah. I took pride in having his boots as clean as I could make them for the so game on Saturday proud on them Saturday yeah, 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 yeah that, and I think that that can't hurt that, there's no, that yeah. cannot hurt did you? Did you? But, happen- but, but, but the, the question was: do, do, Is it better? Everything's better now, Andy. Everything. Preparation. The boys run through videos, do video analysis. There's more time go, for that. There's oh more my, time. You'd so, rather be doing that than sitting. Yeah, but in the, the like this morning, they're in the classrooms. They're yeah. in the classrooms doing doing lessons. What age are we talking? Um, eight, seven, sixteen, seventeen, okay. eighteen. Um, you know, got some re- really clever guys, and um, and then they go out and train maybe two o'clock, um, one thirty something like that because they're in classrooms. So. We've got the classrooms at the at the at the, uh, the academy. We've got the indoor space now, which the the pre academy kids under eight come in in the evenings after school, and then they come out, and then you know the fourteens, then they come out the sixteens. 
I mean, it's it's and then the, the ladies' team train there as well, and the, the gym. So every every area of that training ground now is being mm. used, and still a couple of pitches to be developed. So the facilities are better, the coaching is structured and better, the analysis of games is better. So they get the twenty threes. I saw Paddy McCarthy today. We had a chat and everything. They're preparing and they are picking out clips of mistakes by the players, getting them in and constructively criticising them and tell them how to put it right. And then, obviously, it's just like the first team. So when you step up to the first team, there should be nothing that you haven't been through or experienced. Mm. So th- they really do go through the opposition's games because everything's online. All the games are online on this server and they pick out the games and they see how Tottenham play and then they, this is how we're going to play against them. And this is this is a system. We might change it or tinker it. So they're treated like first team players. Do you think it would have changed you and made you a better player had you had that option? I, I think it would have been a better player. Yes, I think through the facilities and everything, the coaching. I mean, we just used to stay out and bang balls in the back of the net for ages. We used to. I mean, didn't do us any harm. But you know, knowing what I knowing what I know now, I know it's just switching slightly subjects. But I would never have headed the ball as much as I did. Never. You wouldn't have done. Never. No. No, so knowing what I know would, now. How would you have got out of that? Well, there's only two people who were trained with who didn't head in training, and one was Gary Lineker. He <laughs> just, he just refused. I mean, when we were at Leicester, he just everybody who played for Leicester in that era will tell you mm. Gary never headed a ball. Did he why, give why, the reason? Sorry, why, yeah, sorry, he said, he said, he, he said it used to hurt. He said the, if you, someone puts a cross in with a bit of spin on it, mm-hmm. and the old balls mm-hmm. leather, and you know it's spinning, and you're meeting it, and you're mm-hmm. heading, you know, 25, 30 miles an hour collision. Mm-hmm. He said it hurts. He, didn't, he couldn't see the point. He thought it was instinctive. You could do it on the day, which he scored loads of headers, Gary. But never scored it. Never ever headed the ball in training. And the other one was Bob mm-hmm. Newton, big centre mm-hmm. forward who played with at um, at Port Vale. He was another one who didn't like heading the ball. <laughs> centre forward number nine, big barrel chested, mm-hmm. great, great number nine. Helped me a lot. Like I saw him just recently um, at Ernie Moss. Ernie Moss was a old number nine, played for Chesterfield, played for Port Vale, um, a few other clubs, Peterborough, I think, something like that. <clears throat> and Ernie, Ernie's passed away obviously with dementia, and um, we we were all up there. Mal Sterling was there, and in Riverardi, um, yeah, Big Bob. So we were just talking about you know the old days and everything, and, and heading. And I just just would not head the, the ball the, the, as much now, knowing what I know. There are rules in place now um, for Premier League clubs to head the ball. I can't ten remember. Ten times a week. Is it ten times a week? Yeah. Okay. So is they that... had a, they had a practice game, and they, <clears throat> and they, they were allowed to head it in each other's eighteen yard box for the first half. Yeah. And then the second half, there was no headers at all. I okay. think if you headed it, there was one player who headed it. It's a free kick. Okay. Do you do you think that there'll ever be a day, or do you think there ever be a day where we shouldn't see heading anymore in football? Yes. Oh. You don't think we should see heading anymore? In yeah. Football? Oh. I think that's, yeah. From when? From I now. I don't know. I don't know from when. But if if the you change had your with, way, if you're in charge. Oh. Well, they've stopped it with the schoolboys, haven't they? Yeah. You know the impact. The, the constant impact is 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 damaging. You know all the great players who've been passing away through dementia the ones who have contracted it now and and now anyone who's anyone whose family are, are treating one of their loved ones with that it's um you know it's obviously heartbreaking and you know i think gordon mcqueen's one of the latest one isn't he nobby styles so would you ban heading now in- so not right now no I'd, I would, we could taper it out we could filter like the, the, the 10 headers a week yeah well i mean i watched training the other day we've got to say with the academy from from the young from the young school boys up we all throw the ball out. We all pass it back from the, from the back. There's less less direct kicking from goal kicks. I went down to watch Sutton and Carlisle. I think just just to watch the levels, just to see because obviously I, I do the loans at Palace and um, Lee Two and and you know there is a lot of heading there, but also there's a lot of football. Um, and I tried to count um, in the um, the Spain and France game. I just lost count. The ball was in the air a lot. I was trying to sort of take note of it, but there's a lot of heading of the ball, and it's um, it's repeated um, contact, and it's um, it's damaging. And we know this. I'm not an expert. I'm, I'm part of this 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 schools project, which mm-hmm. is taking part. We're taking part right now, and it's, it's done online on an iPad or or, or whatever you have, and um, and it's it's just to. To monitor your brain, it's like um, checking up to see how quick your reactions are, etc. And 
Um, when I read, I mean, my son's at UAE, and and when I went there, I, it came up on my phone, and I looked into it, and then I contacted the doctor, Dr. Michael Gray, and um, I said, you know what, I think I'm what you're looking for. I'll take part in this study. And um, he was really happy to get me on board. I know he'd be listening right now. So like I said to him, I'm not the expert, but I, I really want to try and help him and this 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 um, this this project, this what 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 the schools project is called, and it's about life people now, um, boys and girls, um, ex pros, amateurs getting getting involved and getting involved in this study, and um, and trying to do that link, trying to find out the link and between heading and dementia. Let me ask you, we've got to go for a quick break and we'll, we'll continue our chat, of course, when we come back. Is there a website? If people are listening to this one, yeah. could you know it off by heart? Or? No, I don't know, okay. but I'll get it. All right, before you go, we'll, yeah, we'll mention it absolutely. on it. Okay.